deserves another high five. That was pretty good out there. <laughs> All right, so here a couple of weeks ago, I got to thinking about the theme. Look, what's your claim to 4-H fame? So I got to thinking, what is something that I could be famous for? And then I got to thinking, all right, well, I, would, I, went, to, I would, went to state with my Leaders for Life team, and we placed third. Well, I'm the club vice president, also as council. And then I just got to thinking, man, what is something I could be famous for? <laughs> I was first runner-up in our male beauty pageant. Yeah! <laughs> you know, you can see that light green over there, me and my pretty dress. But no, no, no. I got to thinking, that can't be it. So maybe it's just my will to be outgoing, to go and help others, to be a leader. So all I, get, I just kept thinking, and it hit me. Giving 100%. That's what it takes. That's what it takes to get people's attention from little ones when you're at county camp. Or from y'all, when you when you just see me out there hitting those dance moves on the floor, you know, like, ah, I need snow. <laughs> but, you know, it's just some things like that that catches a person's eye and makes them say, hey, maybe this kid would be all right. Maybe he could be a decent leader. That's why I'm running for vice chairman this year for our uh, district A. And I think if you choose me, I'm going to give it my all. I'm going to give it 100%. I'm going to do it for y'all. And I'm going to make y'all 4-H famous. Thank y'all.